All week long, we are sharing Bill's super fan stories in our Meet the Mafia series, all building up to Sunday's home game, and it's the home opener also. And Pete, the person we're featuring today is one of your favorites, right? He makes me want to have a peanut butter netter sandwich. Elvis Presley had his Memphis Mafia, right? So it's all the more fitting that Bill's Mafia has their own version of the king. Joshua Robinson introduces us to the man behind the guitar. There are two things I learned about John Lang just by walking into his Lockport man cave. The obvious one, he's a very proud father. Mostly for running, sometimes for hockey, but uh, both of my kids ran cross country, indoor track, outdoor track for Lockport High School, and every time the name would be in the paper, I would cut it out and laminate it. But the second one came from some subtle hints, painted guitars, flashy suits, a not so subtle tablecloth, all inspired by a bet in 1992. A buddy of mine in Florida he called me and we were betting the Bills Miami games for about 10 years or so. I was like, I'll bet you double or nothing I get on TV. And he's like, yeah, you're on. Found an old guitar and I put, I painted it white and put Go Bills on the front and squished the fish on the back of it. and. My wife painted these sideburns on me and some chest hair, and I had this stupid looking goofy suit. Next thing you know, I was on the broadcast, and then uh, Chris Berman had fun, you know, making fun of me all week long. Lang says at first his kids were a little embarrassed to be seen with him on game day, but the fans were begging for Bill's Elvis to keep coming back. He says he had no choice but to oblige them, even on the days it was tough to be a Bills fan. I got people all around where I was sitting and they were just having so much fun. They're like, you got to keep doing this. This is fun. You got to keep doing this. And I was like, yeah, I guess this is me. It's the greatest fan base on earth to me. It really is. And uh, like go to a game in December, it's basically a meaningless game. And the place is 90% sold out. And it says a lot. But... A quarter century later. Bill's Elvis has become a true classic among the Sunday super fans. He still makes a handful of new guitars every year. He still gets fans sending him pictures from the Super Bowl days. And hey, when you're nicknamed Elvis, you've got to have a few crazy stories to share, right? I've had like a girl half disrobe and want me to sign, sign her. <laughs> I had my cousin with me for that game. He was just like, wow, we.